improved either. So anybody who wants to take part in this competition should know that it is not a uh, child's play. They've got to be yeah, you know, you've got, you've got really to be on top of your game, so to on say. On top of, yes. Okay. I, I am delighted that we've continued to you know, hear the word excellence resonate in this short conversation. And what does it say to me? It just underscores the fact that, you know, the, of, of the communication we've been doing and the determination at Nigeria LNG, that this prize will be awarded for one reason only, excellence. excellence. And we've received, you know, approaches in the past from, you know, various stakeholders saying, can't you break up the $100,000 prize into something for the second, you know, a runner-up and the third right. winner? Yeah. And we've sort of resisted that so far for the same reason that I've just outlined. So the it's awarded for winner. excellence. So excellence. the first and second winner do not get anything? No. Yeah. So now, only, now Prof, um, I, I am in the business, so to speak, in mm -hmm. quotes. Mm -hmm. So I understand that... Um, Nigerians have a problem with the written word, English language, and all these have to be in English language. Um, you are a member of the advisory board, so I assume that you do get to read a good number of these entries. Um, what would you say of the quality of the works that come in? Yeah, uh, would you say, are you asking regarding the quality of production or the actual content, the content, the content to start with, to the content. Mm. Yes. Yeah, there's no doubt that it's increasing in quality. I give you an example. The last time poetry was on offer, mm -hmm. a young man called Tade Padela won it, and on that field were established writers Poets. but when he won it no other person than professor john pepper clark congratulated the chairman of the advisory board and actually came to the public presentation of that book he said this one is really good and he said when he took it up he couldn't stop until he arrived at the end. Mm. So what I'm saying is that from the time when we will say that this book, no book of poetry merits this award mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. we came to a point where even established writers, famous writers like J.P. Clark, were able to say, this is it, this is good. So it's the progression. I hope that it will continue to get better. As I said about children's literature, which will be on offer next year, 2019, the money, again, since the prize was not awarded, was pumped into workshop, workshop. workshop mm -hmm. to make things better, okay. to let more Nigerians have the practical uh, uh, training, as it were, mm -hmm. even if it's on a short term okay. of how to write, to write children's, children's literature. Books. Okay, uh, tell me, the mm -hmm. prize, you call it the Nigeria Prize for Literature. That's right. Is yeah. it meant for Nigerians only, or can other Africans? Niger Nigerians, it? basically. Wherever. Whether here or in diaspora. In diaspora. We have had winners if, you know, from the diaspora. Chika Onigo is one good example. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, to, add, add, to add to that, the, the sort of profile of the prize, as you, you know, indic indicate, has continued to rise. Um, we've seen that, you know, verified by members of the advisory board. We have um, every year an international consultant just to help us keep an, a double check, right, on quality and content mm -hmm. and context and all of those. Incidentally, the last international, um, you know, consultant we had was... Um, um, a very, you know, delightsome lady, if you, if you permit me to, do, to, call, to, to refer to her as that, but she's um, Professor Abena Abusia. Um, she she um, is currently Ghana's um, um, ambassador. ambassador to Brazil, and she's, um, you know, a, 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 an accomplished, um, you know, a literarist herself. Okay. And she was here, we had the privilege of, well, the pleasure, the pri privilege and the pleasure of, you know, hosting her here last year. And um, it, it was um, a really exciting time. And she made clear comments with respect to the quality of the work she's, she's seen, with respect, you know, come from here. And mm. don't forget the musical notes. Indeed. 
she performed the musical notes attached to this book. Oh yes! Wow! The heresy. It, it was very exciting. The way is I mean, even I don't know how to read music, but I, she I read know, the music and made it very exciting. Mm. So it's almost you know like uh, you know um, you know performance drama performance poetry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what I heard her refer to as you know on that day. Okay, so entries have opened for 2018. That's correct. So should any writer be interested in sending in um, entries, mm. what should they do? Where should they go? Yes, we have put out, um, you know, notices on, you know, the company website, um, externally in, uh, you know, in social media, as well as in, in as well as in the newspapers. So it's, um, you know, very well circulated, but, I, but we're hoping to see you know, the sort of, uh, and indeed, indeed an increase in uptake this year. Okay, what is it for this year? Yeah, last year was poetry. Drama. It's drama this year. Drama, mm. okay. Mm. And, and when do the entries close? 29th of this month. month. Oh, oh, that, that doesn't Ooh, give them much that's time. Just about no, no, it's, we, it's we, been open we, It's not now, we, it's been, uh, it's almost two months now, isn't it? Since we advertised it. Okay. So it's, just, so, it's, it's coming due and it's uh, perhaps a time to sensitize everyone who's interested. Mm. Is the price changing? Um, not, not this year. But we have seen progressive increases, you know, since 2004. We, it was originally um, $20,000 and it went to 30 and then 50 and eventually um, $100,000. Um, but again, I think... The, the the important thing, yes, it's got a you know a, a considerable price tag, but it also puts Nigeria on the map, you know, science and technology wise, and then in the arts, and um, that's that's something that we take very seriously, and we're looking at you know we're looking at opportunities for partnership, in that endeavour to help us project Nigeria, and we're sure that our people, particularly youngsters among in the in our midst, have that connection to the written word, which I think is very important. And there is another aspect of the prize for literature that I must mention. We, when we advertise the creative aspect, we also advertise the critical aspect. As you must know, uh, you go into an English department, there are the people who are in literature, even in Yoruba or Chinese, there are people who are in literature and creative writing, but there are people who dissect what is written. The language. Yes. <laughs> and tell us what it's like. Mm. And I know that sometimes some writers are surprised when these analysts, critics, begin to analyze what they've written. They will be wondering, did I put that there? Mm -hmm. But that art is most appreciated in the universities. So we said, let's have a prize for those who look at creative work mm -hmm. and somehow we're not getting a good response in terms of those who want to look at the articles if you want to be a professor of literature at Unilag they will they will ask you for critical essays they won't say bring the novel you have written mm -hmm. so we keep advertising mm -hmm. that and we hope that we will get a better response this year mm -hmm. because if you used your essay Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> if you use your essay to become a professor, mm. and we now say, let us have uh, essays you wrote in the last four years, which is what we also do with the book. The book should not be more than four years old. Mm. Now, we then say, let's also assess these essays, and some of you might win mm. as one uh, Diala. Of Imo really State like, University yeah. did. He won it. Whether it's whether they think the money is small, I don't know. That one is a hundred thousand naira. naira. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> Big the difference. One, one million, million naira. One million naira. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We wish you success in the next edition of the NLNG Prize for Literature. Ikel Goke, twenty seventeen winner. Professor Ben Elube, member of the advisory board, Antonio Kone, the corporate communications manager at NLNG. Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing your thoughts, and we wish you well. We hope you enjoy reading your book as a good law. So as we're back in a, again. Thank you, man. Thank you. So as we're back in a moment, please don't go away. <laughs>